as a rule, we not only crave for food. Spiritually, you will begin to crave for something. And that is God telling us, you were created for me. Notice this verse one more time. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. So what in the world is the meaning of the word righteousness? The word righteousness comes from this Greek word, dikaiosune. Dikaiosune means the condition acceptable to God. It is a very beautiful word because God makes us righteous. What does that mean? Many times we are confused. We don't understand righteousness because our righteousness is so low. We compared our righteousness with other people. So to understand righteousness, what Jesus is talking about, true righteousness, I will now give you an example from Matthew chapter 5. The righteousness of human being is called external while the righteousness of Jesus is internal and external. For example, Jesus tells them in Matthew chapter 5, The ancients were told, people say, you shall not commit murder. According to Jesus, what is righteousness? Everyone who is angry with his brother commits murder. So, the righteousness of Jesus is higher than the law. The law says, don't commit murder. Jesus is saying, if you are angry, if you, if you read those verses, if you say bad words against your neighbor, you are guilty. Jesus is telling us, if you are angry, you are as guilty as the murderer. If you curse people, you are as guilty as the murderer. Righteousness is internal. You see, God knows how superficial we are. We think we are righteous, but God is saying righteousness is of the heart. Now, ask yourself, am I righteous before God? Are there people today that you are angry, that you refuse to talk to, that you don't want to forgive? God is saying, you are as guilty as the murderer. 